Hey everybody. Black, 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 black. Uh, I'm gonna take all these pills. Ah, that's right. It's it's life is just too much, too much. I'm gonna take all of this dairy relief. Ah, oh, I'm gonna OD on dairy relief. Everybody, that's it. This is it for me, really. <laughs> Actually, it's probably gonna give me more diarrhea. Anyway. Anyway. Boop, 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 boop. You know what happened to uh, Nakula Basile Nakula? I want to read you some stuff, but Nakula Basile Nakula. Nakula. Basile Nakula. Also known as Sam Basile. That's right. Sam Basile, otherwise known as Nakula. Basile Nakula from Egypt. Um, he was a, he was an interesting fella, I gotta say, but, uh, I think more interestingly enough is what the Politico had to say about him. Uh, the Politico back in 2013 wrote, Nakula Basile Nakula deserves a place in American history. He is the first person in this country jailed for violating Islamic blasphemy laws. Um, yeah, that is, that is an important thing. Uh, so we should know where this guy is. During the Obama administration, uh, basically, uh, Hillary Clinton and the DOJ acted as thugs for the Muslim Brotherhood uh, because the Muslim Brotherhood caused a huge mess in North Africa uh, with Egypt and, uh, and Libya and uh, funding terrorism all around the world, including all the way out to the Lashkar Taiba uh, in the Haqqani Network. And, uh, yeah, I, our, our administration in the United States of America did so much to cover for them that they even imprisoned a guy who made a video online. He didn't yell fire in a theater. He, he didn't do anything like that. He made a video online. This is a guy who's dealt with Muslim persecution in his life, and the people that are doing the persecuting... Basically said, hey, United States of America, uh, we don't like that guy. And America said, okay, yeah, we'll throw him in prison. That's basically how it went down. Uh, also, I would like to point out, the people, uh, if you actually look at tweets from Benghazi, uh, not Benghazi, so from Cairo in that time period, there were some very reasonable people going, hey, I don't like that guy. And another Muslim going, hey, we don't like him, but that's freedom of speech. And then somebody said, yeah, but he shouldn't be allowed to say that. And this other random guy from from Cairo in, in 2012 says, freedom of speech. My favorite, this is my favorite, my favorite concept of freedom of speech. And it's also simultaneously the most Muslim thing I've ever heard. Uh, freedom of speech is like a virgin. You can't have a halfway virgin. So, yes, that's basically the concept. Nakula Basile Nakula, otherwise known as Sam Basile, should have had the right to speak his mind and make a really crummy video on YouTube uh, called uh, The Innocence of Muslims. There's really, it's, it's really bad. It is, it is, it is, you're watching it and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm curious, I want to like fact check this a little bit, I want to look up some of the history about Muhammad, um, the Prophet Muhammad, uh, I'm, I'm curious, I want to learn more about it because of this movie, uh, this little video on YouTube, and, and I'll put a link to it in the description, you're gonna have to push a little button to say, you're, you're okay with it being a, being a, a, a spooktabular movie, um, that's gonna trigger you, cause it's super offensive, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so fancy. Oh. Oh, Mr. Slave. Um, yeah, so basically what's happening here is I was interested to find out what happened to this guy. What happened to uh Nikola Basile Nikola? And and very simply, he's uh he's homeless. His his life was destroyed. His life was destroyed by the US government. Um uh they uh so, yeah, this is, this is from the Wikipedia here. Uh, arrest and imprisonment. So, 
at the top here it says following the violent reactions to the video nakula and his bull by the way bullshit um the, the violent reactions are because those were terrorists they were terrorists jama islamia that's not people for people for kind youtube videos no that was jama islamia they're 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 terrorists okay they weren't oh we're we are made to be violent by a video also can i just say that's racist to be like, oh, Arabs, man, don't show them a computer. They might see a picture of the Prophet Muhammad and just go bananas, okay? That's racist. That's racist as hell. Oh, my gosh. It, but, yeah, anyway, thank you, Wikipedia, for, for following the narrative. Following the violent reaction of dumb monkey Arabs who just go bananas. That's what it says here in Wikipedia. Uh, whenever anyone shows them a video, Nakula and his family went into hiding. And the Cerritos home was listed for sale. His attorney has said he has received threats uh, to his safety. On September 15th, 2012, federal authorities took Nicola in for an interview about possible probation violations related to the film's distribution on the internet. Uh, right, probation violations. Yes, yes. Yeah, because, you know, some Arabs might see it. And you can't trust them not to just go bonkers, remember. Um, on the 27th of September, 2012, U.S. federal authorities arrested Nicola in Los Angeles, charging eight counts of probation violation. Uh, and now um, he was, let's get to where he's released here. In August 2013, Nicola was released from prison to serve his remaining sentence in a halfway house, then to be on probation for the next four years. On September 26, 2013, he was released from the halfway house to the custody of Pastor Wiley Drake of the First Southern Baptist Church in Buena Park, California. As of November 2015, Nicola has been living at a Los Angeles homeless shelter and working part-time at a pizza parlor. This man's life was destroyed because of another country's blasphemy laws. I just want you to just, just in your imagination, uh, just, just knock on Monticello, you know, just get in your little time machine, and just knock on Monticello and be like, Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, uh, President, President Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson. Would it be okay for us to just kind of put that old First Amendment aside? I know you guys worked on it for a while, but we just put it aside and arrest somebody for upsetting someone with something that they say in another country. Can we, can we do that? Should we do that? Should we trump up charges on somebody? Should we arrest them because of a video that they make? First, he'd ask what a video is. But then after you explain what a video is, he would, he would tell you you're an idiot. Anyway, that's the update. Uh, I'm going to um, uh, put some links here in the description to this. Uh, uh, man, the Daily Caller. Daily Caller has this. Uh, I'm going to put some links here to this Daily Caller article, the Wikipedia Um yeah, this is an update on Sam Basile, Nakula, Nakula. <sighs> I'm very bloated. I'm very bloated. I don't know if you can tell. Look how bloated I am. Oh, so bloated. Oh, can somebody do something with a green screen right now? Like, like put me like floating somewhere. Oh, I'm so bloated. Oh, oh, and I had dairy. Oh, I'm lactose intolerant. Anyway, I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun, trying to lighten things up a little bit. It's, it's really depressing. It's depressing this guy's life was destroyed by, by the U.S. government and their, and their crummy ways. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it with that. Uh, check antisocialnews.com. Uh, I'm posting there. Johnson is posting there. There's uh, always some amazing life or death news stories up there and some stuff that you have never heard about. And I learn about stuff on antisocialnews.com. Every day, thanks to the enlightening posts by our colleague Slim Johnson. 
of Nigeria Express in Nigeria. Uh, he is uh, doing an amazing job of posting on there. So check out socialnews.com and Nakula, Basile Nakula, I salute you. I love, I love your your video, uh, Innocence Muslims. Uh, you know what? I'd, I'd say it might be a violation of your parole or something, but but uh, but uh, we need we need to get you back on YouTube. Okay, all right. <laughs>